Or not, Change the me. pick. Moving on. Let's call it what it is. Tom Brady has owned the Eagles in his career 4-0, including Super Bowl 39. However, let's keep in mind, he doesn't have his full arsenal of weapons this time around. Skip, how many points will the Pats offense put up, you know, after obviously being decimated by injuries? Stephen A. Smith, I must admit, I'm slightly nervous about this game as a Brady fan. I thought Tom Brady was spectacular at the end of regulation at Denver when he was reduced to throwing to Brandon LaFell and Scott Chandler and with virtually no time left in some mysterious clock runoff thanks to that officiating crew that tried and finally succeeded to rob the Patriots. Tom Brady still threw the, the Patriots down the field and got them in field goal position to send it into overtime and then we know what the, the rest of the story was. I think there could be some letdown here, a little bit of hangover from that overtime loss in the snow in Denver. And speaking of the East, speaking of my Cowboys, the Eagles have now had a mini bye week. They, they got their post Thanksgiving 10 and sort of 10 and a half days off, if you will. And everyone comes to the realization that with the Giants loss, everybody's still alive. The Eagles are still just a game out. So I think, I think they will come back to life a little bit here. We thought they quit on Thanksgiving under Chip Kelly against the Lions in Detroit, it's the way it looked to me. So two straight games now, they have given up five touchdown passes to Jameis Winston at home and obviously Matt Stafford in Detroit. I, I don't think they're going to allow five touchdown passes to Tom Brady. He just doesn't have enough protection and enough receivers. I think Amendola might try to go, but I'm iffy on that on his sprained knee. So if, it's, if, if you're reduced to LaFell and Scott Chandler, it's just not enough. You, you, you don't have enough weapons. And you think Aaron Rodgers' line was decimated last night? He, Brady's line makes Green Bay's line look like the picture of health. That, that's how bad it's been in New England. So again, I still have respect for Philly's defense. They have athletes all over the place on defense. Why they haven't clicked, I don't know. But I think they're going to hang in this game. I'll say Brady gets to 30, not to 45, but to 30. And I'll say, without Dante Hightower, who can't play this time, maybe Jamie Collins sounds like he will try to play, but I think they can hold Sam Bradford to 13. So I'll go 30 to 13, New England. Sounds about right, Skip. Um, I'd be more along the lines of uh, 35 to 17. I could see this, the Eagles scoring a meaningless touchdown during garbage time. Um, I actually think it's going to be relatively competitive early going because I think the Eagles are going to come out fired up because you're going to have a lot of individuals playing for their job. Yep. We know as a team, they're not a team any longer. They're a dysfunctional bunch uh, uh, because of Chip Kelly. And we understand and, and, and we're here to say that there should be an elevated level of respect for the defense compared to what people have been saying. I think there is such a thing as an offense demoralizing you because they simply aren't as efficient as predicted as they would be. And because of it, the defense is on the field entirely too long. Got to remember something, Skip, when we're talking about the Eagles. It's bad enough that you got a quarter. None of your quarterbacks have a QBR of over 38. Yep. That, that's bad enough. But then when you combine that with the fact that it feeds off of it stems rather off of the prognostications about how lethal this offense would be and it hasn't lived up to snuff and then you realize why because you gave up athletes that are producing elsewhere into Sean Jackson, LaShawn McCoy, Jeremy Macklin, okay? That's frustrating in and of itself. But then to add even more misery to the equation, it's a fast-paced offense. So when they're unproductive, they don't even have the decency to give the defense time to rest before they come back out on the field because Chip Kelly and his pacing issues come into the fray. So as a result, you end up just going like, oh, you're going back on the field exasperated because you're looking forward to sitting back and resting and getting your bearings under you and being able to go back out there to produce. As the game wanes, all of a sudden it's going to wear you down. Let me tell you what the New England Patriots are going to do this game. Obviously, Gronkowski is not going to be able to play. Scott Chandler should be there. He should be ready to go. Uh, we, we don't know what other weapons they're going to have at their disposal. If you want to equate, you know, throw Brandon LaFell into the situation, so be it or whatever. But the point is, 
the New England Patriots are going to be about the business of methodically beating e the Eagles' defense down, moving the chains, because when you combine that with the fast pace that the Eagles are going to want to play, they're not going to have anything left come the second half. Yep. And that is when New England is going to run away with it. Not to mention the fact that, keep in mind, Tom Brady's coming off of a loss, a loss that he acknowledged he was pretty ticked off about. He was. That's not a good position for the Eagles I, to be in either. I hope and by right. the way, the, e the, the New England Patriots, their problems are on offense due to injuries. Even though the Jamie Collins of the world and the high towers of the world have been relatively suspect, I mean, injured, mm -hmm. because, you know, because then that's why they've been suspect. They've been practicing, they've come back this week trying to practice, and you you have to wonder who's going to be available to this New England defense who is very opportunistic, and they know how to play, and they deserve a lot more credit than they have gotten going up against a suspect offense. And so I think all of those things lend itself towards the Eagles being worn down and New England really turning on the afterburners in the third quarter and running away with the game. Okay, I'm picking them 35-17. I got you. Wouldn't you agree with me, though? The offense is a little more potentially legal, the Eagles offense, with Bradford than Sanchez? Well, you know what? Yes, from the perspective that Mark Sanchez is an accident waiting to happen, so he'll yeah. turn the ball over. But it doesn't take away from the absence of productivity. You know, like, for example, let me give you an example. Sam Bradford will make a mistake that will cause the defense to come back onto the field. Mark Sanchez will make a mistake that's like a pick six or something where you make the mistake and the offense has to stay back on the field because, you know, when he makes a mistake, it usually leads to a touchdown for the opposition. You see what I'm saying? Wait, so, in wait, other words, you you're going to lose either. Yeah, you're talking about the butt fumble? I'm talking about the butt fumble. I'm oh, talking wait, about the, the, the. There the, it is. Oh, yes. right on cue. Ah, there it is. Yes, we just need an you excuse. Go. Yeah. That's Way right. Go. I got it. You got yeah. it. It, it. It's not a problem. Yeah. But that's all I'm saying. It, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I don't consider the Eagles much of a team anymore. Um, you know, and, and I, you know, it's, it's just a shame what has happened to them. Yeah. Uh, you just you're just waiting for them to crash and burn. Exactly. So bottom line to this game and to the Giants game as a as a blindly loyal Cowboy fan, I, I need the Giants to lose. I obviously I'm I'm virtually assured here that the Eagles are going to lose and then we'll see what happens Monday night when Dallas visits Washington mm. then we'll see right but He's Dallas still ain't beat holding out hope Stephen A that's just what I took away from this this whole entire segment you're Not still holding it home yeah. well come Listen, on keep hope alive give me, give me some credit for being loyal like that true you are. blue I'm you are true you blue. are true blue yeah and but so why, do, why do you deserve credit for that why can't it be asinine well, to think that the Cowboys are going to win on Monday night. Why can't that be asked? I'm a fan. I, I was a fan of the team when it was born in 1960. I went to a game. So I, I get to hang in root for and hang on all that I want to. And I'm proud of it. Well, okay. well, rooting, for, well, well rooting for them is entirely different than predicting they'll win. Those are two different I things. I didn't predict they're going to win. I just said... You never okay. know. We're saying right. there's a chance. Yeah. It was Dwayne's world last night on South Beach as the Heat scorched the thunder, and even Wade's son was impressed, kind of. How did he do tonight? He did all right. I love it. I think what you said before the camera was done. He was clutch.